Baby Jake Matlala was the undisputed king of the ring. He was a good sportsman, uh, a great example to the kids, you know. Well, he's a short man, but he had a true heart. I mean, you're a wonderful man, wonderful boxer. Um, my sympathies to you and your family, and may you rest in peace. A mere 1.47 meters tall, he had a successful career with 54 wins. 26 of those were knockouts. Boxing promoter Rodney Berman says despite his size, most of his opponents succumbed to his power. He was like a little windmill. He came in there and he just never stopped and he wore down his opponents. They just couldn't take it anymore. He just kept coming and coming and coming with terrific hand speed. Matlala ended his career on a high in 2002 by retaining his WBU junior flyweight title. He gave his title belt to former president Nelson Mandela, whom he idolized. It's ironic that he passed away just two days after Madiba, who was also a huge boxing fan. In 2010, Matlala was hospitalized with double pneumonia. At the time, the fighter was also struggling financially. And it's something heartbreaking when you find great sportsmen like that dying without any money, without any financial means. Baby Jake will go down in history as the only South African to hold four world titles. It's perhaps fitting that the world's smallest boxing champion should be honoured alongside a global giant for democracy. Pagamile Hrubi, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.